Before 1975, the world seemed like a safer place. But a fictional story about a killer shark changed everything. It scared the bejesus out of me. Jaws terrified millions of people out of the water. I had one old lady come up to me and say, I haven't had a bar since I saw that film. Changed the way the world saw cinema. First movie that coined the phrase blockbuster and ignited a bitter war against one of nature's most vulnerable and magnificent creatures. I don't have a conscience when it comes to killing sharks. But Jaws inspired more than terror. It inspired an entire generation to get up close and personal with the ocean's top predators. I'm a pretty lucky guy. I got the best job on Earth. These are big gold ants. Those white teeth coming straight up towards me through the red, which is my blood. There is no false sense of security for me. This is the story of how Jaws changed the world. You cannot remove all of the top predators without them affecting every link below. We're losing 70 million sharks a year due to shark finning, and that is an unsustainable number. The uncomfortable truth is that public sympathy for sharks is a hard sell. But given half a chance, Wendy Benchley still believes even the most hardened of shark hunters can be won over. Three, two, one, good luck! In Florida, one event is proving just that. It's the start of the third Ultimate Shark Challenge. We got really good bait. It's just a matter of time. The Paxton brothers are the shark fanatics behind this unique tournament. You know, in certain circles, we are referred to as the shark brothers, and I guess you could say that's a bit of an occupational hazard. I saw Jaws when it came out in 1975. It changed everything for me. It was the closest thing to visceral, primal comes to mind. I mean, it just at a very young age, it was like, wow, I'm alive. It took me quite a while before I'd even get in the swimming pool. My drain at one point looked pretty scary to me when I was a kid. That fear quickly turned to fascination, and people may think that it's contradictory with that film, but it really did instill a love of sharks at a very early age. The Great White was the poster child for, for monsters and sharks in those days, and, and I think it was in the 80s that I started getting into my teens that I really realized that there was a, a lot of harm being done. Kill tournaments became really popular. And it was just the everyday angler was going out that even guys that didn't really like fishing, they were going out trying to chum up sharks just to kill them. Catch and release tournaments never caught on, pun intended, because there's nothing to see. There's no spectacle of dead sharks hanging back at the dock. You know, there's no way for the marina to make money and sell t-shirts. We figured let's take the spectacle of dead sharks out of it and replace it with a spectator sport. This is the nerve center. This is tournament command. We have our live camera feeds coming in and they're putting it up on the stadium screen. We also have our uh, radio command here. So should one of our teams hook up, we will dispatch one of our chase boats, including the research chase boat, to those locations. Goliath, that fish on. Hang on. We've got our first hookup of the morning. Looks like a, a moderate-sized bull shark. We want to see how large it is and whether it's going to be suitable for putting on a satellite tag. What we're looking at here is a live streaming action. They're measuring and documenting the fish as we speak. Sadly, we do still have kill tournaments. One of the big reasons we hold this tournament is to show that they don't have to do things in the old school way. We have fishermen fishing in this tournament. One in particular has a world record in catching and killing the biggest hammerhead. They have converted and come to us uh, and found that catch and release is the way to go. You got it. Back then, they catch them and hang them up. And you know, so I kind of grew up watching that all the time. And so I ended up doing it. Everything's kind of evolved into what they're doing now with the live release tournaments, which is really great. So I'm all for it.
The Paxton's tag and release tournaments prove that in many ways our attitude toward sharks has changed for the better. And 40 years on, JAWS is bringing us closer to sharks than ever before, with those it inspired revealing new behaviors we never thought possible.